If you love Oakley and you're in the market for some new eyeglasses, stick around. We're going to go over our top picks. Hello and welcome. I am Eyeglass Tyler and right now we're going to be sharing our top picks from the best men's Oakley eyeglasses. Before we get into our lineup, let's do a quick recap of Oakley proprietary frame and lens techs. Of course, with the frames, we have their O Matter frame material, which is a very lightweight and extremely durable material. Next up is the Nano Matter, which is another plastic like material, but it is thinner. It is their thinnest, lightest, and strongest material, being 67% thinner, but three times stronger than a typical acetate. Then when it comes to their metals, they have their C5 metal alloy, which is again, very lightweight and extremely strong, especially compared to standard metals. When it comes to lens techs, all of these frames are available in prescription. Of course, they're eyeglasses. That's what you get them for. They are all also available with Oakley authentic lenses, be it single vision or progressive, or you need clear lenses, transitions lenses, or prism gaming lenses, which are amazing, by the way. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, don't forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 five days with them to figure that out. Yes, even if you get them in prescription and we will take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, we have opticians. If you ever get intimidated or overwhelmed by options, they would love to help you get it right the first time. They're very knowledgeable and very friendly and would love to hear from you. All right, let's get into these frames. Kicking off our lineup, we have the Wheelhouse, which is a very stylish and more of a minimalist design while still having some nice bold features. It is a mix of materials. You have an O matter frame front and stainless steel temples. One of the things that I love about this style is the hollow point hinges. It is a new hinge design. Well, new-ish. It's, it's been around for a little while, but it is a very unique hinge design because there are no screws. So it can't get loose. It can't fall off unless you just outright break it, but you're really going to have to try hard at that. Really strong uh, hinge design, and it has a cam mechanism for comfortable and convenient fit. I really like that style because a lot of designers don't really spend a lot of attention to little details like that. They just go with your typical three or four barrel post and then just put a screw in it. And then, I don't know, it's just not as fun as something like a hollow point and definitely can have its downsides. Hollow point, I haven't heard any negative feedback or trouble with this. So I definitely can say that I'm a big fan. This is also actually available as sunglasses. You can get the wheelhouse in a sunglass style if you wanted to have you know, a cool collection of sunglasses and eyeglasses, the same style. Maybe you would. I don't know. That's cool. Uh, when it comes to sizing, this is available in a 52 eye size and a 54 eye size. When it comes to SFWs, that puts you at 136 millimeters and 141 millimeters, respectively. And next up, we have the Volt Drop. This is a newer addition to their lineup. I think it's been around for a season or two, but it does have a very classic styling with more of that rectangular or squared off shape with very bold lines. It's a little more uh, straight on the brow line. And so keep that in mind. If you've ever tried a more straight brow line before, it can potentially be a little unibrow-esque, but not for everyone. For some people, it just really, really works. Uh, this is a bit more frame than something like the wheelhouse. You definitely have more material, especially in the nose bridge here, and just a little more boldness across the, the board on this guy. It's all O matter, but you do also have unobtainium ear socks, which is really nice. If you're not familiar with unobtainium, that is a material that's hydrophilic, which means it absorbs moisture, so it actually grips better as it gets wet as opposed to sliding more. And so really solid material there. Very versatile frame that works really for just any application. When it comes to sizing, you have a 52 eye size and a 54 eye size. And as a, a really good example of how those eye sizes alone don't give you a good idea of fit, that lands you at an SFW of 130 millimeters versus 134 millimeters respectively, and compare that to the wheelhouse, which are the same eye sizes. So definitely makes a difference having that SFW. 
And next up, we have the Metalink, a really cool style. This has mixed composition frame materials with that nanomatter frame front, but the stainless steel temples and that unobtainium grip on the bottom and insides of the temples. Really cool style, a little bit narrower in the lens height, but a little more interesting in the lens shape. You have kind of a somewhat geometric lens shape here, not exactly rectangular, not exactly square, a little more interesting there. One of my favorite elements of this frame is the true bridge technology. So that is the nose bridge here. It is a saddle style nose bridge. It's unobtainium. You get a few different sizes to give you the perfect fit on your nose bridge. And that saddle style is amazing for comfort. So what you get with the saddle style is that it wraps around your nose bridge, which is going to give you more contact points. So it, it more equally disperses the weight of the frame on your nose bridge for comfort, but more contact points also means more area for it to grip. So it stays on your nose that much better. This is also, by the way, for you gamers out there, very headset compatible. That is how they design these temples. So keep that in mind. This might find its way onto another list. <laughs> Best Oakley gaming glasses. Anyway, when it comes to sizing, this is available in a 53 eye size and a 55 eye size, which gives you an SFW of 135 millimeters and 139 millimeters respectively. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about men's Oakley eyeglasses, or perhaps you have prescription needs, we'll be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and knowledgeable sport opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more Oakley frame reviews, unboxings, prescription Oakley content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. And next up, we cannot have a best of eyeglasses from Oakley without including the airdrop. Absolute classic. I think this has been around for as long as I've been alive. I don't, that's, that can't be true. I'm way too old for that. But amazing style that really, I don't think is ever gonna leave their collection. It is inspired by another popular eyeglass called the Servo, which is another long running style that's also amazing. This is 25% lighter and twice as strong, however, than the Servo, something worth noting. This is all O matter and you do have the unobtainium ear socks and a little more adjustability in this guy with the temple tips. You can bring them in and, and out. You can wrap wrap it around the ear, but Oakley's with that three point fit system are not really designed to wrap around the backside of the ear. They're meant to rest on the top of the ear. And this offers the most diversity in terms of sizing options. This is available in a 51, 53, 55, and 57 eye size. When it comes to SFWs, that's 130, 134, 138, and 142 millimeters respectively. All right, now we're gonna get into some metal frame styles and we're gonna kick up your style notch with this sophisticated seller. I really like this guy, nice large lens. Uh, it has the, I, I wish I knew, I should know what they call this design where you have a seamless frame front on the top. So you have one continuous piece across the whole front of the frame which gives you a little more structure, gives you a little more rigidity and a little more durability because instead of just having two weld points for the bridge in the middle, you have an entire piece that goes across and multiple weld points where the eye wire connects to that piece. So a little more durability uh, and definitely a little more style factor and a little more structure, a little more of an industrial look as well, thanks to that C5 metal alloy. And I really like their rivet designs here. And again, as I mentioned, I love that hollow point hinge. This does also offer those unobtainium ear socks for grip and comfort. You do have a little bit of adjustability in the temples here as well, but a really good amount of that balance of tension uh, and pressure to hold it onto your head, but not create discomfort. Also, you have adjustable nose bridge, thanks to the metal style. And they, I don't know what they call their their uh, nose pad design here, but it's a nice little like air filled pillow, which is nice and soft and made out of silicone. 
When it comes to sizing, this is available in a 52 and a 54 eye size. And when it comes to SFWs, that's 137 and 140 millimeters respectively. And a really quick sidebar on the SFW. We've done a video, a couple of videos on this. I usually explain it, but that's our measurement for really an effective width. And as we're going through this, I wanted to take a pause and just make note of I'm saying a lot of these, and I already made note of this earlier on the volt drop, but I'm saying a lot of the same eye sizes, but you'll notice very different SFWs, Sporter X frame widths, and that is because the eye size alone doesn't give you the full picture in terms of fit. The eye size is actually really a measurement that is important in the manufacturing process. It's not exactly something that is intended for giving you an idea of how it's going to fit. It works okay as that, but the SFW is really something else. So I don't know if you've been paying attention to the eye size versus the SFW, but they do vary quite a bit. And so I think just that much more value in getting that SFW. If you have more questions about that, you can definitely check out some of the, the videos that we have on it with a little more information. And next up, we have the tie bar. This guy has been a real crowd pleaser since the day it came out. People just absolutely love this style. Very minimalist frame, but it is still one that makes a statement. It just proves, I think, sometimes simplest is bestest. It has a very clean design, really classic rectangular shape, full titanium frame on this. So titanium all the way down to the temple tips. And you have a little bit more thickness on the temple tip, which is designed to give you a little bit more grip, even though there is no grip material. Really classic design. You even have titanium in the flip and nose pads in this guy. It is class all the way to the end. This also has adjustability in the nose pads, of course. It also has the latch system, which is pretty cool. If you're not familiar with what that is, there's a little latch here on the inside of the temple. So if you wanted to hook it onto your shirt, it grips onto your shirt and it doesn't fall off. So nice in that regard, for sure. I mean, I always keep my glasses on my face, but I guess if I put my sunglasses on, you wanted to keep them on you if you're at Disneyland or something, definitely will keep them from falling over when you go down to pick up your kids like I have to do all day, every day at Disneyland. It's so hard at Disneyland, but it's also the happiest place on earth. So I don't know why I'm making a sidebar there, but hey, also this is available in a semi rimless design. Uh, what they did actually to achieve this really low profile frame design is they went with what they call a an inline groove design. So the lens has a groove edged in it and then the frame actually sits inside that groove. So super secure and it gives it almost like a, I don't know, just a really low profile frame design, which is pretty cool. The, uh, that, uh, by the way, the, the semi rimless design is called a tie bar 0 0.5. So if you want even more minimalist, there you go. When it comes to sizing, this is available in a 53 eye size and a 55 eye size. Yet again, this is a, gives you an SFW of 133 millimeters and 137 millimeters. And last but certainly not least, we have the money clip. Really and truly, this is kind of the tie bar, but just a round lens shape. You have a lot more lens, you have more of a rounded aesthetic, and it, I'll tell you, it suits my sensibilities perfectly. This is also probably the go-to for progressives. If you wear progressive, this uh, the, the tie bar is a little bit narrow in the lens height. This guy is amazing. Go for the money clip if you wear progressives and you like that simplicity, simplistic design. Uh, all of the same really design features as you get in the tie clip. So fully titanium all the way through, even down to the nose pads. You have that same inline groove design. You have that same latch system, really easy to dress up or down. I think this gets a little more style points personally, especially with the keyhole nose bridge and with a little more unique lens shape. Again, this suits my sensibilities just mwah, perfectly. Uh, this is only available in one eye size, which is a 50 eye size. That gives you an SFW of 135 millimeters. That wraps it up for our top picks from Oakley in eyeglasses for men. 
I hope now you have a very strong contender for the next perfect pair for yourself. If you are liking any of these awesome styles, stick around for a moment longer for an easy to click shop now button. Also, if you're ready to order, don't forget about that Sea Better guarantee. I really think it gives you great peace of mind when you're ordering something as important as eyewear online. And again, if you're looking for peak peace of mind, us opticians would love to help you get it right the first time. That's like the whole reason we're here. And so definitely use this as a resource because we'd love to help you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop any of these amazing styles, you can click this button right here. If you're looking for more content to consume as we all always are, you should check us out on our social media outlets because I think you'll like it. That's why I recommend it.